It's official. I'm officially speechless after watching Monster Trucks. Yes, yes, Monster Trucks is a 2017 film that was directed by Chris Wedge. It's a Nickelodeon's Productions, which, look, I've heard about this movie. I remember seeing the trailer a while ago, and then when the movie came out back in January, yes, January, I saw the reviews, I watched some reviews, and yeah, people tore this apart. But my curiosity got the better of me, and not like I went into this movie expecting it to be good, or maybe thinking that I was going to disagree with everybody else in the whole wide world. No, I just wanted to see just how bad it was. Was it as bad as everybody said it was? The plot is we meet Lucas Till, who plays Trip, a high school student. <laughs> yeah, Lucas Till is my age. But he's a high school student here. And he just so happens to get into contact with this squid creature. Big, huge, giant creature that loves oil. It escapes some some factory warehouse place where they're experimenting on them, these creatures, and going to kill them eventually. It got out. It not only loves oil, but loves to be encaged and in, inside of trucks. Thus, monster trucks. Lucas Till has to stay away from this the secret government group and protect this creature at all costs now what the fuck <laughs> look it's a nickelodeon's movie it's not the first time that nickelodeon's put out a film and it certainly won't be the last time and i'm sure that there's other nickelodeon movies like good burger or a bunch of other ones where if i told you the plot of these movies if hell even if you heard about some of these movies you'd probably think wow that's so stupid that's so lame Maybe true, but at least there was some fun to be had with these movies. At least there was something good to latch yourself onto. This movie right here, there is nothing. No redeemable qualities, nothing fun about the movie. It's just dumb, stupidity after stupidity after oh stupidity. This movie sucks. Sucks on so many levels. First of all, Lucas Till, like I said, I like this actor. I do. I've seen him in some things. X-Men First Class and whatnot. And I know he's currently playing MacGyver, which is hilarious. But more hilarious is him playing a high school student. I know that high school movies do this. They always cast these older people, 27, 28-year-old, damn near 30-year-old people to play high school students. But it's, it's one of those situations where you see this kid and all of the background kids that you see just walking around or on the school bus. They look legit 16. Lucas Till does not look anyway. He looks like a grown ass man hanging out with these young high school kids. And it's creepy. You're not fooling anyone, especially myself. Also, Jane Levy plays Meredith. And she too is around the same age, my age. So like maybe she could pull it off a little better. But still, it's it's weird for her to be playing this young. And her character is just infatuated with Lucas Till, I guess. He's a good-looking kid who is supposed to be somebody that we're, like, I guess, supposed to relate to because he lost his parents and all of this stuff. But, like, every girl in high school is throwing themselves at him and almost begging for his attention. Hell, there's this cute blonde chick, pretty hot chick, actually, and she has a boyfriend. And there's a few scenes of, like, she's with her boyfriend. And sure, her boyfriend is a dick, but she's openly flirting with Lucas Till. Openly like, hey, I like you. Want to date me instead of my douchebag boyfriend? It's like, well, this guy's too cool, Lucas Till, to be a main character or to be somebody that I'm supposed to feel bad for. He's the cool kid in high school. But this giant squid creature, or whatever you want to call it, eh, this CGI is god-awful. You can tell from the trailers that the CGI is terrible, but 
this movie claims to have like a pretty decent sized budget. I don't know where it went. Because really, all of the special effects, all of the CGI is for this creature. Everything else is practical. And when I say practical, it's just small chase scenes or small, small scenes. Nothing big, nothing spectacular. One of the bigger scenes of the movie is Lucas Till and Jane Levy in this truck. Because the monster is inside of the truck where the engine's supposed to be. And instead of actual real oil to power the truck, drive the truck. No, the, the creature is driving the truck. I don't know how this makes sense. I don't know how it works. But that's what we're going to go along with. And they're on the highway. They're crashing into other cars. Damn near nearly killing people on the highway. Innocent people. But it's supposed to be tongue in cheek and fun and yada yada. There's no consequences to any of this stuff. This movie was all dreamt up. And I'm sure people have heard this insane but fascinating story about how this movie got made. This The president of Paramount at the time, Adam Goodman, his four-year-old son, I guess, came up wrote the treatment okay i'm joking but he came up with this idea about monster trucks and how it should be a movie and this guy wanted to please his son oh so much that he put millions and i mean millions of dollars into this project years and years of hiring writers poor writers like i feel bad for them the fact that they had to pretend to show some interest in a four-year-old's idea and make a script as convoluted and as dumb as it was like they did here because nothing here makes sense it doesn't there's no logic hell there's scenes where jane levy tells lucas till hey you can bring your your creature filled monster truck into my dad's barn use his tools to fix the fix the car up but because my dad is nowhere to be found. He barely comes into his own barn. He's not even going to notice if his tools are missing. It's like, really? Where are the parents? Where is everybody here? And then there's another scene where they have to take uh, some trucks, abandoned trucks, trashed trucks, from Danny Glover. Yes, Danny Glover. That Danny Glover, who was too old for this shit back in 1988, but he's even more old for this type of a shit now. Hell, he's in a wheelchair in this movie, for God's sakes. It's probably because he just he wanted to do the bare minimal of what he had to do for this paycheck. But they have to take these trucks and, and take them to a car dealership and Lucas Hill fixes them all up by himself in the matter of a few hours. This is what I'm talking about. I don't care that this is a kid's movie, a Nickelodeon movie, and that sure, the material's gonna be a, a little bit dumbed down, but to treat it to where like we're just fucking retarded and we're not supposed to think that any of this is gonna make sense, never mind the giant squid creature, this is terrible, absolutely terrible, Rob Lowe plays the main villain, the head of this corporation who's, I guess, going to experiment on these creatures and do whatever he wants to do with them. Stupid. Holt McConnelly, he plays one of the main villains chasing uh, Lucas Till. It's sad. It's sad to see actors that I see pop up and a few things like them as actors. And it's just, this is what we're reduced to. This is what we're doing just to collect a paycheck, just to cash that check at the bank and pray that it goes through because you know this movie bombed. You know there was no returns, no profit made on this movie. In fact, Paramount declared millions of dollars for a loss before this movie came out. That's what we're talking about here. Uh, the last thing I want to mention is this god-awful soundtrack. There are songs in this movie, like, I mean, poppy-like songs, just real douchebaggery type music that plays throughout this film and it just if there was ever a reason for me to roll my eyes or just wanting to have my neck snap back and just end it all there was so many times where i was just sitting here bored out of my skull daydreaming 
thinking about fucking broccoli. Anything that I could think of that was more interesting, more compelling than this dog shit of a film. Fuck this movie up its ass like it deserves, like it probably wants at the end of the day. Man. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if you too saw Monster Trucks. Yes, let's let's get together and talk about this. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later. Later.